welcome back friends to my channel uh, in in my last video i had shown you how to install sql server and how to install management studio right uh, but at that point of time you know uh, we went ahead only with windows mode of authentication right so in this video i am going to show you how to enable the mix mode authentication and also how to enable sl login and and if you want to add more logins okay right so let us start with uh, you know uh, doing this and uh, let me open my sql server first of all so now you can see uh, once i uh, you know open sql management studio uh, you can see currently windows authentication and as basically we have not enabled sql server so first task is to get connected with windows authentication only so i would say connect my sql server is get connected now this is an instance on instance just click on right click and go to the properties okay under properties there is a security tab and on the security tab you can see currently windows authentication mode is enabled or is clicked or selected right so just click on sql server and windows authentication mode okay and then press okay once you press okay it will pop up a message that some of your configuration changes will not take effect until sql server is restarted so you know for this to get effected right uh, we need to restart the sql server not management studio and sql server okay so press okay now again right click on the properties uh, sorry right right click on the instance sorry not instance uh, expand the security tab expand the logins and you can see your sl login correctly you know there is a cross mark red cross mark the small cross mark so right click on the sl login go to the properties okay and here login name you cannot change just change your password right so you can give your you know a small password also whatever you want which you can remember so i am giving some password three digit password and you can if you say enforce password policy then you know only small password uh, would not work then you will have to you know uh, use a very complex password which contains uh, upper case lower case some special characters and so on so always click on enforce password policy deselect that go to the state status and you can see here currently it's disabled click on the enable okay and then press okay so now this is being enabled and we have you can see here the cross mark has gone and we have also you know changed the authentication type from windows to mix mode but it will not get affected till you restart the server okay so right click on the instance again and click on the restart button okay it will ask that are you sure you want to restart say yes so once this is restarted now you know your mix mode authentication would get enabled okay so now you can see here currently this instance is connected with my administrator account that is laptop name and jitendra again click on the connection button take the same server okay and instead of windows authentication press sql server and here type sa and then whatever password you have created right once you click on connect you can see now the same instance sql server is also got connected but here you can see currently it's an sa password so which means what you have you know actually used a sql login okay so this way you can enable the mix mode authentication anyone you can enable the sql login if you want to create a new login right then again click on the security okay right click sorry expand security expand login and then under login tab right click and say new login and here you can specify whether you want to use a windows authentication or you want to use sql server authentication okay and then if it's a windows authentication then it will actually check with your active directory okay and you can see here once you click on the search button you can also specify the location here currently you know this laptop is not connected to my any organization so it doesn't have any active directory right so uh, it, you would not see anything right so here you would not be able to i will not be able to show you the how windows login is created but yes you can click on location you can you know choose your active directory and then you can type a name the full name which is present in that active directory and then press ok and this way you can create a, a windows login for sql server login uh, you can 
just type a login name so for example i am saying uh, jitendra or jit login and then again specify password i have specified the password we select this enforce password uh, policy and then on server roles you can say say admin which means you know it has the full rights on the server and once this is done press okay now you can see here this jit login has been created okay again press on this connect button and now instead of say say jit login use jit login and your password and once you connect this again we are connected with jit login itself so now you know we are connected with the same server with three different user one is this windows login one is the sl login which we enabled and one is with jit login again this is an sql server authentic uh, sql server login okay right so this way you can enable mix mode authentication and you can uh, you know create a login so uh, as per your uh, need okay so hope guys you have understood this and uh, uh, you can you know practice as as much as you want to understand this in a better way right so thanks for watching this video as usual please don't forget to press a like button or and to subscribe my channel so that you will keep you know getting a notification on the new upcoming videos okay uh, so bye for now uh, see you next time with next topic bye and take care